Hello guys, welcome back. It's Saturday and it's a beautiful day out today. Oh my gosh, we're getting like our first kind of summery day. Um, it's like, wow, good catch. That was impressive. It's like 76 degrees out. Um, I have my hands with my nails off. I'm all ready to go because we are going to be doing some planting today. Me and my cousin just wanna go to Lowe's, get a bunch of <laughs> planting stuff and soil. I love to just get my hands dirty and get out in the sun. It's like my favorite, it just makes me feel so good. I've been feeling so much better the last couple days because it's been nice out. The weather really significantly affects my chronic pain, so days like this are just the best. So Janelle's gonna come and then we're gonna go to Home Depot. That's like our favorite place, right? Do we like Home Depot? You wanna to go to Home Depot? I think we're gonna bring Charlie, who's Janelle's dog. He's so cute and he rides around in a little sack with her. The rabbit's doing great so far. Um, I should update you guys on her. She's doing awesome. Um, we've had her now about a week. She's sleeping right now. So this is Charles. His name is actually Charlie. Um, he's a rescue and he's got a little bit of anxiety. So he rides around with Janelle on this little pack. Yep, he goes to all the places he can that he's allowed and he just hangs out because he makes him happy. Yeah, and he he actually he really loves, loves it. it. Like, like the sack comes out and he's like, yes, it's sack time. Yes. Oh yeah, nothing makes him happier than <sighs> little hammock boy. That's so cute. Um, we're trying to buy plants. We've decided that Lowe's is a lot better than Home Depot, at least where we live, for plants. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? You oh. having a nice time at Lowe's? We got a ton of Soil. But they had like a bunch of dead shit. Like whose job is it to watch these plants? Like oh, half them so are dead. Shit. I'm like, why don't you at least just throw it out? Cause it's really deceiving. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah you don't want to buy a dead plant. But um, got some blueberries, some roses, uh, a columbine, beautiful columbine. These are native to Colorado. That's the word I was looking for. A bunch of other perennials. Yeah, that's why like our state flower is the columbine. Is it? Wow, you didn't even know that. Bye. So we came home and the sky decided to be shit. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna plant things. We took the bunnies out for a little bit, but it's cold and they, I don't even know if they wanna be out here. So we cleaned their litter box. Nice, sweeties. Meatball, go inside. Look at all these plants we got. I have all these plants to figure out. These are just such a mess. This is embarrassing. There's like dead tomatoes. Yeah, you really didn't like pack it, oh, pack it down for the winter. No, I really didn't. I did a shit job with that. The weather only continued to get worse, sadly. We've given up and we're just planting in the cold. All right, so I didn't even get enough to fill this planter. I always underestimate how big it is. Uh, but I got some ivy in there and then a bunch of perennials, some columbines, really pretty. I need to read you all of this and then make it like that succulent garden. Holy shit, guys. Kendall just called me to tell me that our new Flemish giant rabbit just had eight babies. We had no idea she was pregnant, and now there's eight baby rabbits here. Oh my God, you're pregnant? Yes. Holy shit. Holy. Another vacuuming, and then I found this. Oh my God. Holy shit. So she seems completely fine. Hi, sweetie, you feel better? Dude, she may have even already had them before. No, just wait. When you saw her, because they, I don't know how long they've been here. All right, all right. Fine, huh? Holy. Okay, first of all, let's wash our hands. Here's gloves. Look at your baby. You did so good, honey. You poor thing. I had no idea you were pregnant. No wonder you didn't want to be picked up. Oh my God, you guys. Like, I wonder who she... I am so confused because she hasn't been near another male for a while. So there's eight of them. She had them inside the box. Hell yeah. Yeah, she had them in the box. She tried to build them. Thank the God we did that for her. All right, well, the, I just read all about it. Mama takes care of them. Okay. She feeds them once a day okay. for two weeks, and then they'll start eating solid food. But we need to get a nice, like, box to, for them. I gave birth. Good God. That's why she was so thick. I was like, I think they're o they've been overfeeding her because she looks so big to me. I'm really confused. Again, she was from an accidental litter. She was then adopted by this family who then just didn't, you know, they thought she was too big and she nipped at them a few times. It was just too much to handle. So they gave her to a foster. So she's been a foster for a while. But if you're wondering, um, 
the reason she's not spayed is because rabbits, it's better to wait until they're six months to spay them. They almost look fake. They're so little. God, look at that. I was not expecting this, dude. I was not expecting this. Yesterday, she was stuck in the vent. I adopted this rabbit. I had no idea what I was getting to. She's so smart. This rabbit moved the entire vent, climbed into the vent, and Josh had to save her. But all kind of makes sense. Like, she was just she trying was to pregnant. protect herself. And Crazy. Maybe she just thought she could nest in there. She probably was like, there's no good spot to make a nest in here. Should we just keep them in here? I think maybe something a little bigger. Yeah. No, we should get like, just like a little, I'm gonna see if I can find some. I'll be right back. Wow, I am in shock. I cannot believe we have eight little babies here. So, we've talked about several different nest options. I think we're gonna go with this, because it's the biggest, and it will allow her to um, maneuver around without possibly stepping on them, because I think this is a bit small. So, the most space possible. So, I'm gonna fill this with hay and blankets and paper. And oh, this is so crazy. Alright, so what we're supposed to do. Put it down like this. Here's our. Oh, you poor baby. Are you, bunny? Good girl. So, so we my kids. built a nesting box for her because she didn't have one already because we didn't know she was pregnant. I know, it sucks. I wish I knew because we could have had her on a special diet for that. She's supposed to be, get tons of nutrients and stuff before. I mean, we as long as we've had her, we've been giving her a complete diet of yeah, rabbit. Yeah, for sure. She's had such a great temperament for a pregnant rabbit. Like, Seriously. I'm so impressed with her. Oh my gosh, my heart completely stopped when I came in and saw them. I was like, I thought they were bugs at first. I was so freaked out. Yeah. Oh my God. Aria, she's passed out. She's so tired. She is, poor thing. And remember we kept trying to play with her today? We kept trying to get her to come out of the room and play and she all she wanted to do was lay by her rock all day. You did so good, Ari. We're already on it. This is my birthday present. Happy Yay. birthday, I got this for you. It's so funny because it's Easter. Easter bunnies! <laughs> Literally. Spay and neuter your rabbits and all pets, ladies and gentlemen. Spay and neuter as soon as possible. Yes. What a day. I cannot wait to text the rescue people tomorrow and let them know. She had eight babies. Happy Easter. All right, so next morning here. Easter morning, eight babies doing well. I just checked on them all. They all look happy and healthy to me. I'm, from what I'm reading, I've been doing a lot of research. I was up till 4.30 last night and then I woke up today at eight and I couldn't even sleep anymore. My big girl, hi honey. Oh, what a surprise. So the foster, I contacted her and she thinks that it happened through the gates in her house, which she didn't realize could happen with her mail which I'm waiting to hear back about what type of rabbit he is. I, I'm pretty sure, I know that they're little, they're not, it's not another giant. So these are some type of giant mix. Um, and it's crazy because she might even have a dwarf rabbit, so they might be a dwarf giant mix. <laughs> but yeah, she's doing good. Right, baby? Um, if you're not following our pet Instagram and want to see like daily updates on these guys, it's um, Mile Higher Zoo. All right, so I actually didn't have the vlog camera most of the day. Um, I locked it in the bathroom and forgot about it. <laughs> but I wanted to do a quick update. Hi, honey buns. Hi. Hi, baby. She got so excited to see me just now that she was like binking. <laughs> That's, that means rabbits are happy if she's like springing around like that. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, she's happy. That's great. She's in a good mood. So, it's okay, baby. Come on. Yeah, she's just playing around. Hi, sweetie. Earlier today, um, a lot of people were commenting on the Instagram. <laughs> she's binking. That's so cute. I've never seen her do that. <laughs> running around? You're running around, baby. Say hi to the camera. So, I came up here earlier today and she had pulled out a ton of her fur, which is awesome. And this is a huge sign that she's taking on the responsibility of being their mommy. 
Um, she's building a nest. I literally have a video of her pulling out the fur. Well, they're not abandoned. They're... Yeah. Like, Mom. Mom is here. Yeah, and she was laying with them when I came in, like, awesome. and she even acted a little defensive of them. Yeah, she did. Which is good. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, she's oh, like, just a tad bit. These are my babies. I just get that. Oh, wow, look at you. And all babies are still okay. I checked them all. They're all still kicking. All eight look good. They're nice and warm here with their fur. Mommy's doing good. So. Gosh, what a surprise though. This has been the craziest Easter I've ever had. So just because I know I'll get comments about it, um, it is okay for me to touch the babies because I have a bonded relationship with the mommy. If you find like a, you know, a rabbit outside and they had babies, if you touch them, they could abandon it. But if you look it up on Google, it's like pretty much a myth. Um, so she's not abandoned them. Saw her actually nursing today a little bit, which is great. Um, and yeah, she really trusts me, so it's, it's awesome that we had time to bond before the babies came. Athena got scared earlier tonight, I got bit, because I think she smells um, Aria on my hands, and she freaked out and bit me, and apparently the first week after spaying, they can be a little crazy, so. I have 11 rabbits in my house right now, guys. The f is wrong with me, seriously. And I'm turning 26 tomorrow. So, she has mated with a, um, a mini lop and this happened at the foster she feels very bad it was an accident but yeah they can mate through grates and fencing and stuff so these guys are going to be half mini lop half <laughs> Flemish giant so I have no idea how they're gonna turn out so here are three babies I want to show you guys an example I looked up what a healthy kit, which is a baby rabbit, should look like versus unhealthy. So see the difference between these two? This one is a lot weaker, it's a lot more wrinkled, he's a little purpley. Um, and then you can see their bellies. Look at the difference. They said that if they drank from the mom, which is a great sign, I think this one has, they'll, have, they'll look like they had a grape and they'll look nice and full and content and not as shriveled. And so this little one, if you look at its belly, it looks like it has not had that. So I'm going to go ahead and supplement this little guy um, with some goat's milk. Oh, it, she instantly started drinking it. Oh, nice stretch. No, no, no. Oh, no stretch. She's like, ah. Oh, finally exactly got some milk. Do you want some? Kind of just like placing drops like on their lips. On yeah, their just lips. little. Don't do too much. Don't let her finish her mouth movements before you give her more. Do you guys smell milk? Yeah. All right. So we hand fed a few of the babies that looked like they hadn't been fed already by Aria. They're all tucked in and cozy in their bed. Aria's going to sleep. And we're going to sleep. We're very tired. I barely slept last night. This was just the craziest surprise. Seriously, though. Easter surprise. But um, my birthday's in like 20 minutes. So I'm going to go to sleep and then we're going to do another birthday vlog. So we'll be back. <laughs>